windy. All right, now I want y'all to go find that video. It's a good one. I believe that's sporting with Harrison. You know, now that, all -stars, babe. now that I think about it, we actually quote that. We quote that video a lot. Anyway, what today's video <laughs> and what it entitles, well, I'm bringing my truck home. Yeah. It's been out there at my uncle's shop, which is about a 45 minute drive from my place. So getting out of there, going back and forth nonstop is, hey, that's one of those brand new Raptors. Always drink water, it's good for you. Oh, and if I offend you in my shirt, I'm, I'm sorry, in my hat. I'm just representing my president and that he's president, so you gotta get over it. I mean, that's what my shirt says, says Trump won, get over it. I mean, if you don't, if you didn't want Trump, I mean, oh well, he's... He sorry about that, a telemarketer was calling me. If y'all didn't know, I film all my crap on my phone, but anyway, a telemarketer, whatever you want to call them bastards, then from Chicago, Illinois. So I answered it and I said, Who's this? And they hung up on me. Trump, as the president or not, he is, and you got to get over it. I mean, you got to get over it. I mean, he's going to be president for the next four years, at least. But uh, if you don't respect my political views you don't have to but if it bothers you so much you don't have to watch me anyway I'm gonna get people triggered back to what I was saying I'm gonna be bringing my truck home and the reason I'm doing that for one I want my truck back I want it home and reason number two it makes my makes it easier to work on my truck I mean I got the front core support put on the fender the fender, uh, I think it's bolted on there, which is kind of sitting on there, but it's not attached. Uh, I need to adjust the front uh, core uh, a little bit. We actually, when we put it on, you can't really tell until you put the fender on there, but it's about an eighth of an inch crooked. We gotta just loosen that up and redo that. And it's just time consuming from the last time we were out there, so we weren't able to get to it. But uh, we all, all I gotta do for like the core support, and then the fender should bolt right up, put the wheel well in, and, um, clean up the weld, weld and all that stuff on my wheel well because uh, y'all saw how that was it wasn't the best welds but I mean the little welder that Harrison had and the real thin sheet metal and lack of adjusting the the welder it wasn't the greatest welds and it could have been better so I want to touch up on that a little bit if I can if not I'll just find me another wheel well no big deal I just throw that one on there for now but uh and then I got my radiator that I got for my birthday. I need to put that in, hook that up. And then I have my fan that I ordered off from. Oh, he nailed the curb. He got like a full on like uh, construction trailer. And he went, boom. <laughs> and all like just flopping around. These people over here looking at me like I'm crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah, there they are, they're staring at me. But uh, no. Uh, Actually, that's one of the first times people spotted me while talking to myself, but I mean, it is what it is. Your light's green. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, hell, okay, the only thing that was wrong with my fan is that one little piece of the fan, bl one blade was slightly bent. That was it. Rest of the motor, untouched. So, in theory, with a little bit of gas treatment, <coughs> uh, and the old Chevy power, it should start right up without an issue. But we'll see how that holds to it because uh, I'm gonna have to do some wiring. Well, not me, my dad, he knows how to solder wire and, I, and he's done it for a living at one point. So I'm gonna let him uh, solder, solder the wires that need to be soldered for the lighting and all that stuff. And that way things are done right the first time. Uh, I understand the idea of soldering wires and how it works, but I just don't feel comfortable doing it on my vehicle that I depend on before I get practice, you know? That's a pretty short list if you look at the grand scheme of things. If you're
I'm trying to finish this water before I get a Dr. Pepper because I want a Dr. Pepper, but I want to get this finished first because if I get my Dr. Pepper and then try to finish this, this will never get finished. And so I think till I get it finished, I'm going to take a little drive over to my grandparents' house. Oh, uh, uh, actually, I made a video on this, but it was dark and all that, so I decided to scrap the idea and love the video. <laughs> but so you won't see this on video, but we got me a second mini bike um it's at the house now i already did the whole ordeal stuff it in the trunk where it doesn't fit and get off your phone God. so i pulled up to my grandparents well i guess they're not here which is okay my grandma's not here i, I don't know if my grandpa's with her in her van or if he's just taking a nap like Poppy does, and any, any family that watches my video know, hey, that is what Poppy does. He takes naps. But, I did finish my water. So, I believe I have earned myself a Dr. Pepper. What do y'all think? 44 ounce or 32 ounce? I don't know. How many ounces are in this thing? 16.9? Eh, 44 ounce. <laughs> I've waited in line forever, it feels like. I'm tired of it. Pick that water bottle up so it doesn't get stuck under the brick. Hey, okay. Moving up a bit. That feels weird as the seat's still down and I'm sitting up, moving up. Yeah, let's fix that. I sit up very straight whenever I drive. I didn't used to, but I drove my uh, youth pastor's uh, Suburban, and it set up really straight. And I kind of like the way it felt. Uh, yeah, can I get a 44-ounce Dr. Pepper, easy ice? 44-ounce Dr. Pepper? Yes, easy ice. No, thank you. All righty. A dollar sixty-one at the window. I thought it was gonna be at the door. Dang, that trash can is full. I'm gonna pull off the side here so I can actually put the straw in, put the lid all the way on my drink. That way it don't spill. Let's see, is it easy ice? I ah, kinda. put my card in my wallet so I don't like lose it and let in put my card away alrighty guys uh, let's do a little recap on what I talked about here today if I can remember it all this is a test for me not y'all but I'm gonna put it in the video anyway anyway today we talked about that I'm bringing my truck home we're bringing Holly home and we talked about how I got a second mini bike. Uh, what else we talked about? We talked about me earning my Dr. Pepper. That's always a good thing. I said, man, my memory really that bad? Is that all we talked about? Oh, this is what I was meaning to talk about. I just haven't gotten to it yet. This summer, my channel is about to blow up with content. So if you've been wanting to see a lot more Average Texas Redneck, you're going to get a lot more Average Texas Redneck. I plan on doing something any day I can. So. That should be a whole lot of fun. That's all I really got to say about, uh, say about anything today in this video. So, uh, if you haven't already, go and check out my Instagram and Twitter. Go and uh, leave a comment down below if you, uh, about anything you want to comment about or any kind of ideas. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you genuinely uh, enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this one. And uh, if you want to see more videos in the future and go and uh, make it easier to come back and browse. Hey, 72 C10. Dang, that was nice. Anyway, if you want to go, make, it makes it easy to go back and uh, browse around throughout the channel and see what other videos and stupid crap I've done. 
Uh, anyway, go, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Almost at 150 subscribers. Uh, I like it. Hopefully, I'll hit 200 here pretty soon. I'm, my goal for the summer is the maybe I'm going to try to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. That is my goal, and I want to do my best to try to reach that. Well, if nothing else uh, uh, sidetracks me, or if I have anything else to say, which I don't, uh, this is the end of the video. Stay country. There's a goat. Yeah, a goat eating a stick.